guys, Keith from the Ashland Fly Shop here. Uh, today we're going to do the copper top. It's summertime, well early summer anyways. Flows are still a little high, they're dropping. Um, I'm, you know, definitely scandy lines for me, all that stuff. This is a great little fly because it's got a little bit more weight to it. Um, shows up in, you know, in, in dark conditions, shows up in light conditions. I've caught a ton of fish on this, so what we're going to do is kind of show you my version of it, and I'll tell you why I'm tying it the way I am. Mostly it's laziness and stuff that I have on hand. It's just a few materials, and uh, it's probably stuff you have laying around, and if not, it's really inexpensive to tie. So here we go. All right, to start off with, I'm just using, once again, the Daiichi 2051s is what I typically use for most of my summertime flies. I do use a lot of the Alec Jackson stuff um, when I want stuff to get a little deeper, but I just happen to have these today and that's what I'm going to use. So, get that in there. I've, I've most of my steelhead stuff anymore, I've, I've gone to this Vivas gel spun. Uh, this is 50 denier. It seems to hold really well. I don't. Uh, I haven't broke thread in a long time now. So you'll see that on this, I'm not going to go all the way back to tie in this flash. Start off just going back and we grab a few pieces of flash here, you know. I'd say three or four or five will do it, however much you like. And just tie it in right there. And I'm just going to go right about there. That'll do. Make sure it's nice and straight on there. So typically, I'd like to do this with a medium wire and then just wrap it up. I don't have that today. Um, I grabbed the wrong stuff. So I've got brassy, which you'll see is super, super fine. But what I'm going to do with it, a trick you can do when you don't have the right wire. Let's get that apart so I can get that off there. So I'm going to pull out a little extra three times as much as what I need for that. Ah, I dropped it. Let's see if I can find it. There it is. And then I'm going to straighten it out. And I'm going to take and fold it over. I'm going to fold it in four pieces here because this is so thin. Just like that. And then I'm going to tie it in. See that? My eyes are getting bad, even with glasses on. I tie it in. I'll just keep coming back right to the point where I stopped and tie it down real good. Now, I can you can twist this a little bit just to keep it all together, and that works really good. Don't have to do a lot. Just trying to kind of keep it all together. Well, that's going to mostly give you the look of that one big strand as you go up the by just keep it nice and tight. You know, if you've seen me tie flies before, I don't really get too uh, too wrapped up in making things exactly like the last one. I don't think the fish care too much. So this being brassy or being medium wire, I don't think it matters as long as you get enough of it on there to cover the shank and get that little bit of weight. So what I also like to do is now I've still got this extra here. So what I'm going to do is just make a big ball of it right here. And I like to do that just because it adds that little extra weight. Like I said, most of the reason I use this fly is, is laziness. I don't want to switch out tips. So what I'll do is I'll just use my either my floating or my intermediate. When I need to get deeper, I'll just grab the, the fly with a little bit of wire on it that's, that's heavier. Go. 
Now, the original of this had some sort of chenille, I think, right here for, uh, for that kind of big body part. I don't have any black chenille, but I have ostrich. And I like the way it looks anyways because it kind of fluffs out. So I'm going to grab a bunch of this. I'm going to cut it off. Leave my tips out. I'm just going to tie it in just like that. Cut off my extra. Get down a little bit better there. And then this kind of comes becomes my dubbing ball too, so I'm just gonna grab them all together, spin them, just make a nice cover all that up. And this is where I'm going to differ a little bit from the original. You know, it wouldn't have done that. You would just cut off your chenille and it all would have went away. But I like all of that ostrich on there and I don't think it's going to hurt it. So I'm just going to fold it back and tie it down. And leave it there. Just like that. A little bit of schloppin'. This is not the best looking schloppin', but it doesn't matter once again, because it's just a fly that you're gonna go throw in the water and try and get a fish to eat, right? So separating it a little bit there, just to get a nice tie in. Get them tied down, cut off this extra. I guess I could have cleaned up my feather before too. But. Could have done all this earlier, but I didn't. So now I'm gonna do it. Just clean it up. Sometimes I leave that webbiness in there too for this. I'm gonna take my scissor, kind of separate all my barbs there. Get it so it kind of folds over a little bit. And then this, you're just gonna, you know, just like you do marabou or bronze mallet or just, just fold and wrap. Fold and wrap. I don't know why that's doing that, but I don't like that. We're gonna go backwards here and undo it and get it to look pretty, because we can. Oh, I see why I spun the feather. You don't want to do that. Just get everything going one way. That'll really help. There we go. Now we're getting there. Try to keep from wrapping over the top of the last pieces of feather there. One more. And don't worry about getting a little messy. That's okay. Shallows. Pull it out later. Pull all this back and front. Get a couple wraps in there. Oop. Just gonna hold it in place and then cut this out of there. Now go in there and look and see if uh see if you got anything kind of wrapped. It's like that one right there. Unwrap it, hold that back, start to create a nice little head. One more little part to this, grab our crystal flash again. Let's cut that nice and even. Nice and tight. Oh, ow, got myself, don't do that. You gotta do it at least once at the vise, right? All right, there it is, tied off. You 
can do half hitches, you can do, you can whip finish it, you can do whatever you want really right there. But Then I'm just gonna take some UV glue, this is loon, get on the top and the bottom, and then light it up. There you go. I can't tell you how many fish I've caught on this. It's it's a great fly that, you know, you don't see a lot anymore, but um, we got them in the shop. I like them a lot. Tie them, go fishing. See you later.